Hello and welcome to my review of the Sister Act 2024 UK tour. I do have to say I really enjoyed this. This is my souvenir program from the evening as provided by the Palace Theatre in Manchester. And I have to say this was an incredible performance. So I'm just making sure I've got off the next up. Um, It, it was well, well, well put together with some incredible casting and a lovely debut. However, I do have some negatives to say and I will be sharing them. First of all, I'd like to take you through the programme. Page one opens with a summary of the Palace Theatre coming from Sue... Um, not from Sue Cleaver. Coming from... Sarah Bleasdale, who is the general manager of the Palace Theatre, is giving a rundown of what's to come this year and a little bit about the show, as well as a, um, a little advertisement on page one. And there's this lovely bit of information all about the history of the theatre and how it was built and why and when. Um, a little bit more of that on page three. And then... Then you have all upcoming ATG performances within the um, Palace Theatre, including um, some that stood out to me, which were um, Wizard of Oz um, and Bonnie and Clyde, which is something that we don't really get to see very often here. Um, then um, the advertisement for the in-house ice cream, and then a very uh, short rundown of the cast list and the creatives. Um, I'm just going to show you my ticket there. Yeah, yeah, well, well done. Well, very well put together. Um, then you get a nice rundown of leading ladies um, who played Dolores and Miss um, Mother Superior, of course, um, Mother Superior being Sue Cleaver from Coronation Street and um, Landy Oshiwano from, um, who's a predominantly a theatre actress. And then the rundown of the rest of the cast and creatives from um, across the state, uh, across um, uh, various areas and then you end up with the understudies so we have um then you have a run through of cast understudies and the orchestra so if you're interested in all that that's all in the middle with this lovely sister act sign which is everywhere in this um then um information about the creatives for a few pages um, then the producers, not the musical, <laughs> and then um, the credits, the thanking, obviously, music by Alan Menken, lyrics by Glenn Stoller and all that normal stuff that's in it, book by whoever, and then you just get all that, for, and then thanks to the production team, and then at the end, as always, you have the Pies Promise at the end, including the and a little bit about the ambassador theatre group finishing with um the booking and information venue um booking and venue information and then on the back as always your advertisement for your atg plus card this was not my favorite this one does not have nearly as much as some of my other programs have had and I do have to say, um, my programme that I got for um, Beauty and the Beast last year was incredible. And this has not lived up to it, unfortunately. Actually, that was two years ago now. God. <sighs> that's, that's shocked me, that. But, um, yeah, no. So it was a lovely, it was a lovely setup. I loved getting to the theatre. I think that took a lot. It took quite a while for me to actually book the tickets for this show because Sister Act's not one of my favourite shows but because Hamilton was on for so long I feel like I wanted to go and watch something in the palace this year and I'm not the biggest Hamilton fan 
what I said. I'd go and watch Sister Act and I was... It was better than I was expecting it, Sister Act. It still wasn't brilliant, but it was better than I was expecting it to be. Now, I'm going to start by talking about the cast. Obviously, it had... Um, I'm going to have my programme in front of me for this. Um, it had uh, Sue Cleaver, who was in Coronation Street for 23 years as um, Mother Superior. And I'm saying this with all the love that I have, but I think she only got the role because of that. And it's not me trying to be rude. I think there were better people to choose, unfortunately, but I mean to each to their own. Um, I was very impressed with the um, actress who played Dolores. I thought she was really, 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 really good. Um, the Monsignor was very funny, and I do... And I would just like to give out a special um, shout out to Sister Mary Robert, played by Eloise Runette, as this was her debut. This was her debut show. It says in here, uh, did it, um, somewhere it says in here, um, oh, why did it say it in here? Um, Eloise is represented by Russell Smith, uh, LTD, and is thrilled to be making her professional debut in Sister Act. She wishes to thank her family and friends for all their love and support, and a special mention to her mum, Lindsay, for inspiring her and always believing in her. That's such a lovely thing to put in a programme, and I have to say, that was brilliant. That is something that I loved. Um, the police officer who played Eddie Souther, he was brilliant. Something that I thought was really, really, really good. Um, Mary Teresa was very funny. Uh, small role, but very funny, and she got a lot of laughs out of her. Um, yeah. Um, do, 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 sorry, just going through it now. Um, then all, all, obviously I like to shout out all the swings who you may never have seen on stage before, but if you've seen them, then you know full well that they are doing something and that is important. That's where the musical numbers were. Sorry, it took me a while to find this. The musical numbers are there. I couldn't find it during the day because I like I like to sit there with the programme and have the musical numbers in front of me like that. And then I'll just like be like, right, okay, so there's a little bit left to go. And it, it just says, right, Opening, prologue, take me to heaven, Dolores, Tina and Michelle. Right, fine, fine, fine. And then you get through a bit and you don't really look at it until you get to like the end where it's take me to heaven reprise. And then it's Dolores, Mother Superior, Mary Patrick, Mary Laz, Mary Robert, Monsignor O'Hare, Eddie Salva and the nuns. And then again, and you just get this nice long cast and I love it. Now, there were some nice little details in this as well, where um, at the end, obviously, the story ends with the Pope will visit, and they had um, the musical director dressed as the Pope at the end, which I thought was a lovely little detail. And for those who didn't notice it, it it's something that we saw, because I was sat right up there in the royal... Oh, what is it? Is it called the royal balcony? Oh, the, the royal tier. The grand tier at the top. Like, I could see the bald spots <laughs> in a nice way. But, it, yeah, it was nice. Um, but, yeah. Costume design. I've awarded this a seven. There were a couple of misses for me. I didn't particularly think that the music, the, the, the costume design for the thugs exactly worked. And I certainly didn't think that the... Um, the the um <coughs> Dolores outfit for Take Me to Heaven version one and um Fabulous Baby Reprise, I don't think they were the best that was the best costume for her character, but you can feel free to disagree with me. The characters I've awarded a nine. There are some good characters, like I love Mother Superior and I love um, the police officer, 
But in my opinion, this show has some weak characters, and I'm not going to say that it, that the delivery of these characters was done there, but I think that some of those characters were only put there to make you laugh. And, <sighs> and not to build the story, which is a shame, but that's how I think. That's how I feel. The plot of Awarded a Six, because I think this plot has quite a lot of plot holes. It starts off really strong, but then it takes a while to get going. It takes a while for me to get warmed into the story, and that's really lowered it down. It takes far too long for her to get into the convent, and then takes far too long to actually get the stuff. It's a bit... For me, I always refer to it as stale until made fresh, instead of fresh till gone stale, which is how most musicals should be. You should be just bang, 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 and then you've seen it so many times that it's then gone stale, if you get what I mean. Um, the choreography I've awarded a seven. I thought that the choreography was quite basic. Sorry. It was basic, but effective. Like, I'm not saying that the work that these people have done isn't good work, because they have done some absolutely incredible work, everyone involved, but there were some songs where I thought, oh, you could have done more there, or you could have done more there, and I just thought, you know, it, it felt a bit lacking in places, but that is not me trying to be rude because I know how much goes into every show so yeah um the um set design of awarded an eight I particularly like the um city backdrops that the um they're almost like um I don't know how you describe them they're like these um props that get wheeled on for various scenes and they are both, um, on one side they are the, um, on one side it's the city backdrop and then on the other side it's, um, boxes for the police station. Then there was the desk which was used for various people throughout the, sh throughout the show. And then there's the, th my favourite piece of set that I've seen in the whole thing was the altar where they poured a glass where, um, where it was the altar with the crucifix and then the bar scene that comes after it, bartender comes on, pulls the crucifix down and it's now the bar stand. And I thought that is an incredible use of set. Like, you could have had two completely different sets where you could have done that and that is what I like. Because um, one thing I will say though, I wasn't a huge fan of the... Um, circles going round of the stage. I understand that... <sighs> oh my god. I understand that it's like the traditional setup to have the circular setup on the stage. Personally, I think that the stage should have been left how it was and then if you wanted them, they could come in and then go back out. But I think it works with the square stage myself. Um, I don't think the flats worked being um, rounded, but I mean, if you want to use it, you can use it. Um, the block in it I've awarded a six, because there were a couple of moments where I thought that they were quite far back, and especially for someone where I'm, I was up in the gods, and I could like, I was, like my view was almost chopped off like that. So, where I'm looking down now, I can't exactly see to the back of the stage. So, at times, I was, like, trying to, you know, to see where people were, which is a shame, because I'm sure they put loads of work into it. Now, the performance of the songs, I have awarded a seven, because of Mother Superior's second song, um... Oh, script. The second song, sung, uh, solo song from the Superior. Uh, do, 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 that's the wrong page. The wrong page. 
Um, I haven't got a prayer. It didn't feel like a song. It felt like she was just saying lines. And I was a little bit upset because I was like, is she going to start singing? Is she going to start singing? And it, it, it was a shame because I was a bit disappointed by it. <sighs> but yeah, anyway. Um, and then the, um, the other one that I was a bit disappointed by um, was um, Fabulous Baby Reprise. I thought that the nuns coming in, their singing bit there, wasn't projected to the best of their ability. So that's why I've awarded it a 7. The villains have awarded a 5 because whenever I watch them, I just, I got a bit, like, bored. Like, the, the Thug's song, um, Lady in the Long Black Dress was perfect, but the, um... Why did I shut this? Um, the um, song When I Find My Baby, sung by Curtis, I just, I didn't enjoy it. I thought that the performance by the thugs at the back was better, but I just didn't think that the, um, that Curtis had done it the way I wanted to. Um, and then Raise Your Voice was brilliant. Raise Your Voice actually took me by surprise with Mary Robert. Mary Robert, whoever, um, Eloise, um, Brunette, you produced some incredible singing. You blew us all away. We were all shell-shocked by your voice. You are incredible. Go on to do great things. And, um... Finally, rewatchability. It's not a show that I am dying to get back to, but it's on my list. I just don't think I will ever go back and watch it again unless they they recorded it somewhere and I could watch it on, like, um, I don't know, if I could, like, watch it on the um the national theater website or something i'd probably end up doing but i don't uh, i don't think it's on my list all right anyway that is where i am going to be leaving it today um i do have to say if you are if you have been to see it in manchester let me know if you've been to see it anywhere else while well, it's on its 2024 uk tour let me know and let me know if you've seen a different cast to me as well um as well as that i will um <coughs> i will be seeing you next time so make sure to like subscribe and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye <laughs>